pray without ceasing, on behalf of other men. For cannot he that falls rise again? Do not have Jesus Christ on your lips, and the world in your hearts. It is better to keep silence, and be something, than to talk, and be nothing. I am the wheat of God. May I be ground up by the teeth of the wild beasts until I become the fine bread of Christ. My sinful passions are crucified, there is no burning in my flesh. A stream murmurs and flows deep down inside me. It says, Come to the Father. Take heed often to come together to give thanks to God, and show forth His praise. For when you assemble frequently in the same place, the powers of Satan are destroyed. And the destruction at which he aims, is prevented by the unity of your faith. We recognize a tree by its fruit, and we ought to be able to recognize a Christian by his action. The fruit of faith should be evident in our lives, for being a Christian is more than making sound professions of faith. It is better to keep quiet about our beliefs and live them out, than to talk eloquently about what we believe, but fail to live by it. My dear Jesus, my Savior, is so deeply written in my heart that I feel confident that if my heart were to be cut open and chopped to pieces, the name of Jesus, would be found, written on every piece. It is impossible, for a man to be freed from the habit of sin before he hates it, just as it is impossible to receive forgiveness before confessing his trespasses. Do everything, as if he were dwelling in us. Thus we shall be his temples and he will be within us as our God, as he actually is. For faith, is the beginning, and the end is love, and God is the two of them brought into unity.